hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about something that you guys want to know but i need my husband to give me a kiss before he walks off so before we go any further i need a kiss you know it is extra on my neck actually <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to talk about something that you guys wanted to hear. A lot of persons probably know already or have an understanding of what was going on. But today's video, as the title suggests, it's a life in the strip club. Yes, I used to work in a strip club in America since I'm here. Um, so this is how it started. You know what? Back in Jamaica, I was talking to a friend. She lived over here. Nikki, pick up yourself. Um, she was like, girl, you know, if you get to do, you know, you know, like makeup or whatever, or strippers makeup or stuff like that, it would be so good. And I was like, yeah, because they make money, right? You know, back in Jamaica, we know say American money is more money or whatever. But there's a flip in the story. It wasn't just doing makeup in the strip club. Can you believe that? Yes. Anyway, guys, you know, that was the thought and whatever. Coming over here and stuff like that, no. All right, the strip club. Oh, am I going to get a job in the strip club and stuff like that? You know, I was putting myself out there with the makeup because you guys know I do makeup. And um, I made a post on Facebook. Facebook have something called Facebook Market. And I made a post of a picture. I do makeup and um, the price. So somebody reached out to me you know i was getting clients to be exact um on facebook you know as an orlando makeup artist because i'm in orlando and um this specific person reached out to me and um you know she wanted to book an appointment and stuff like that and i said okay then and da 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 deposit da 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 and such and such oh you know the procedure goes um and i you know i've the day of the appointment i was doing her makeup she loved it so much and then we were there talking i realized that she's jamaican but she's living over here so she was like um you know i realized that you're jamaican and whatever that was what she was saying to me and i was like yeah i just got over here my husband is here and my kids and stuff like that and i'm currently you know freelancing and you know working from home doing makeup and um, yes, people, I did have people that come on my house, so I just come over here doing their makeup and stuff like that, which I didn't find it no way, you know. But then she was like, hey, would you do makeup for girls in a strip club? And I was like, of course, like, yes, I would. And then I learned that she was a stripper. She is a stripper. And um, she said okay then i know this club that i can ask for you and um, i said yes because she was like she was telling me how it goes and stuff like that and i could make money because i can do makeup and i can do hair like i said there's a total flip in this story and i was like yes and stuff like that so she um you know she made the contact and i you know i was there very interested now because you don't know strippers make money chrissy want to make money chrissy are hustler we have to make money right and um she um you know she was there and i said please reach out and let me know because my thirst to feet now i'm hungry because i want to make money and this time when i came over here everything was slow cushion alone was working da 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 i love my own money and stuff like that and um she said she was going to there was something there was an event and she said she was gonna ask i think she was working at the club at the same night or the night after and she said she was gonna talk to the manager because she and the manager is cool and whatever and i said okay and i gave her my number we exchanged numbers and so fast forward boom she called me or no, she texted me and was like, girl, I talked to the manager and they actually need somebody. You know, there's a position there. I was like, what? And she was like, yes, I told him that, you know, you're good at what you do and da, 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 da and stuff like that. So I was like, okay. Anyway, he told her what I needed and stuff. You know, I had to fill out the application. 
me have to present certain documents and stuff like that. Boom, I went down to the club. Me and my husband and the kids, we drove down there. I said, babes, we're going to a strip club. And um, we went down there and, um, you know, I was, I was going to go in the club. I was so scared because the club opened, you know, it was afternoon and in the night. I was so scared because inside was dark, even though it was in the evening. And I was like, damn. So when I reached up to the door, I said to the door girl, like, you know, I'm here to speak with the manager. I think his name is James. That's what I told her. Um, you know, he's expecting me and stuff like that. And I spoke to James. Can I tell you something? James is from, I think it's Colombia or he's from one of those countries. I don't remember if it's Colombia or El Salvador. I don't remember. But I spoke to James when I walked in. James is this, you know, nice little um, short guy. And I was like, OK, so I'm the here for the position. You know, I'm the makeup artist and I called the girl name. I don't want to say her name. And she, yeah, and he was like, OK, I'm expecting you. Did you do this? And he told me what to do. Yes. And at that time I said yes. And he said, once you fill it out, just text me, whatever, and I'll push forward the application. Let me tell you something. In a couple of hours, James reached back out to me. Can you start working? No, I'm lying. Let me not lie. I had to print out the form and I had to, no, he gave me the form. I had to fill out the form and bring it back to him. When I bring back the form the following day, I think I went the Wednesday and then the following day, the Thursday, because I was, you know, hungry and wanted a job. So the following day, I went back down there and I, you know, present the form. He looked it over. Everything was OK. And, you know, when they run social, everything was fine. It was like, actually, you know, all I needed to see is the application to, you know, tell you that everything is, you know, a go. Can I tell you, James said, can you start working now? I'm like... Oh, no, I'm not prepared. <laughs> so I said, I can make it tomorrow, though, which tomorrow would be Friday. And guys, I went when I came out, I spoke with the girl and I told her she was telling me the stuff that I need. And now me and my husband would go to the dollar store, we go to um, Walmart and we were up and down buying stuff, stuff, you know, necessary stuff that girls needed. Um, and she told me what to get. And, um, yes, then the following day I had my little bag, a little, you know, bag and I went in there shy cause I am shy. Yes, guys. And I went in there and, you know, I was like, let me tell you something. When we're reaching at a club, you have to go around the back cause that's where all the girls are and everything. So I was like, you know, I'm here. I'm the new house mom. And, you know, I just started today. Where am I supposed to go? And the door, the, the guy at the door, the door guy, he he, you know, placed me around the back and say right here. So I was like, okay, I don't see nowhere where the house mom is supposed to be. So I just took out my little bag, started packing out my stuff. These girls thought I was a stripper. Yes, they thought that I was a stripper. Anyway, I, someone said something to me. No, I was on my phone. You know, them here, the Jamaican. She was Jamaican. And that's the first person I met, Nikki. That's how I met Nikki. And then, um, you know, she's Jamaican too, but she not got, she not know the language. Like speaking it, it's like kind of weird to her. And then she was like, oh, you do makeup? You know, and I was like, yes, I'm the new also. And she was like, oh my God, that's a relief. You gonna do my makeup because I'm not gonna do no makeup. Girl, I did Nikki's makeup the first night and I went well. When I tell you guys that I made some money, I was like, I called my husband. I was like, babe, I'm staying. <laughs> Listen, when I say I'm staying, I'm staying. Let me take a sip. Hold on, guys. Just hold on. <laughs> so, I said to Cushane, like, babe, me think me I stay. I like it. Yeah. After I did Nikki's makeup and I put some glitter on her eyes, everybody and their mother rushed good in our winner. But I just pop out my Instagram and said, this is me. Da, 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 da. Yes, I do makeup and this and that. I'm Jamaican and I can cook. Okay. 
So it was a Friday night, like I said, I made some money, come back, Mr. Babes, we think I like it, you know. Everybody was being like, oh, you have to be careful in the strip club because most of them, them shoot up them place there and, you know, with all of the stuff that happened in strip club, you guys probably know already with a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I said, you know what, I just got to be careful, stay around the back and do my job. Okay, the next night I went, that's a Saturday night, you know, I was there. And guys, at this time I started, no, I did not start making wigs as yet. I was making wig for myself because I was there back home practicing to make wigs because I was home all day not doing anything. And um, I think I did a wig and it was perfect. And then someone said, can you make a wig for me? And that's when I started going there, just doing makeup, having everything. I had to buy pasties to you make the titty tape and then one of the girls had showed me like a wine glass not this one though but i had to put the, the 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 pasties around it around the end of the glass i wanted to show you guys so i'm using cushion lens so like this is the bottom of the glass i had to put the pasties on here you know it's like a sticky tape thingy and I had to put it right here and then I had to use a razor and cut it around so they could put the pasties on their nipples because in Orlando you have to ensure that your nipples are covered all right and I did you know I used to make that and then I get the what's the paper called it's not foil or I don't remember that paper parchment paper I think it's parchment paper and I used to make them and stick them out and I sell a pair of pasties for five dollars yes and um I used, I get, you know, everything females, you know, I had to get tampons, I had to get gum, sweetie, alcohol. It's like, I had a table, guys. I wish I could find a picture in my phone. I literally had a table, like a table, and I have snacks on it. I have every little thing that the girls need, the pasties, stuff like that. And then I realized that most of them like the pasties. The, the, you know the cute little ones so I ordered those on Amazon and I sell those for a little bit more I think I used to sell those for ten dollars a pair and stuff like that I had to have alcohol um you know and then one night I cooked and I bring my dinner in there and I eat and I was like somebody that's how and then I started getting clothes with tiny tiny just came to me one night and stuff like that and from there we cling and then you know what she was telling me giving me little tips like you can cook food and stuff like that and then I realized that Americans they really do love the Jamaican oxtail so guess what sis did I started cooking my oxtail all right I started cooking on weekends Friday that Fridays and Saturdays so on Fridays I'll make curry goat with white rice and they love my steamed cabbage let me tell you something about my steamed cabbage those girls love my cabbage all right and i cook the curry goat and then Thursday sometime i'll make stew chicken or um curry chicken and then on saturdays i make my oxtails and beans with my rice and peas or rice and beans like they call it and the cabbage on the side and i was selling a plate for 15 dollars you hear me and when I'm telling you my food starts selling, people start calling me, Chrissy, I need this food, telling me what I need to cook. Um, it was going good after this point. I'm not going to lie. There are nights when it's slow. And guys, I am a house mom in the club. That was my job. Okay. Not a stripper. I was a house mom slash makeup artist. So basically you had, you know, um, you had sometimes they have the house mom that deal with the girls and then you have makeup artists because they tried me a lot of times bringing other makeup artists inside there and it did not work because I'm the boss. I beat faces better and everybody want me to beat their face. So if you're not making no money, they quit. And that's why I sticked around. There were nights when I literally made $5.00. To no dollars and I came home and I was like babe I did not make no money tonight but that's fine the girls don't make money I don't make money right there's nights when I make so much money that can supply somebody for probably two weeks and then there's nights when I don't make no money food started selling I had to bring so much plate buying more food may I cook oxtail like some here on a restaurant 
you know, it was so good. I was tired, started, you know, after I finished with the girls, be making wigs at at this point now i am in control i have to make sure these girls you use deodorant i have to make sure they smell good it was kind of hard for me because i'm not the type to tell her that you stink or whatever i'm like you should know that you understand me i'm like okay then i was just always trying to make it look good like okay so this is what you need to do always remember you have to wash up wipe up you know the bathrooms are there they have they have to wipe up spray up everything so i have to supply them with everything everything all right and um you know i had to like when i say everything i basically had a home inside that club i used to travel i had a locker and i lock away some of my stuff but i used to bring all my makeup stuff it was pretty good i like some of the girls you know the americans they don't scare to talk about nothing and I get close to a lot of girls, but there are times when they tried me. I was making money, guys. And like I said, there's nights when I don't make no money. Sometimes when I go to the bank, people, I was like, oh my God. But also too, if you get paid off, you know, um, tips and stuff like that, that's the same thing. Bartenders and stuff like that, that's how they get paid. But I was a real hustler when I tell you, you know, the Jamaicans when, you know, when you have a stall and you have a school and the stall and stuff hang up. I was selling outfits. I was selling the mesh thing where they could make a top and a bottom piece from that. I was buying those, selling those. I was selling a lot of stuff. When I say a lot, I cannot name. I had to make sure I have needles and thread. So when the girls, you know, outfit bursts or whatever, it's there. And then I have my little tip jar for the persons who are kind. They would tip me different. So I have tip jar on my little jar. And I had to make sure that these girls are okay. I had to make sure they smell good. I have to make sure nobody's around the back acting crazy and stuff like that get too drunk and stuff like that so i was like their their mom back there even though you're older than me i was your mom back there i had to make sure everything is fine i had to watch some girls bag because they steal a lot in the club and stuff like that um guys there's time there's this time when i get um really emotional about this one female she's a pretty little girl really cute you know i think she's spanish um and up to this day, I'm like, you're so young and you're so pretty. And she actually made me cry. <laughs> um, every time I remember, I get so emotional because I'm like, what are you doing with yourself? Like, you're pretty. You don't understand that? You're pretty. You can do better. I'm not talking about being a stripper, but I'm talking about... You don't have to do this. You don't have to take this. You don't have to act like this. She made me cry because she was the wasted. And um, it was very painful for me. But, um, you know, and I came home, I said it to my husband. And I always wonder if she's doing okay. And then at one point she wasn't coming to the club no more. And I used to ask her friends if she's fine because I cared. And I spoke to her. I'm like... I don't even know you and you make tears come from my eyes and she used to call me mommy you know mommy mommy and like mom mommy you cook you got food can you do my makeup can you do my eyebrows you got blunts da 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 can i leave my bag with you and i miss her i hope she's fine right now like it was sometimes depressing because the things you have to face you know knowing that these girls are doing this and this is what they choose so we have to accept that and it was painful at times like i said and i always wonder what's going on and stuff like that but um i also you know respect those females because listen baby <laughs> when i tell you that i when they like say for instance they're on stage and they want me to record them dancing i was like oh my god these girls are so confident and they're so brave and they're so not shy because i could not do that all right and i was i'm even scared to walk in the club when it's too packed sometimes i'll be going to my car for stuff and stuff like that and um so big up on yourself you know if you're just doing it for you know you're hustling your money and you're not trying to you know wreck yourself and stuff like that you know what you want and you're keeping yourself clean 
and stuff like that so big up yourself all the strippers big up on yourself you know who is making your money and you know you respect what you're doing and you respect yourself big up on yourself all right guys at this point now they tried me so many times yes they do they tried me so many times and like i said i keep going back keep going back because of the girls i was on payroll they took me off i was like okay i'm making money so i don't need that that was not necessary for me anyway guys there's times when they tried me and um they took me off payroll wasn't a problem i was making money so i was like okay then that's nothing because to be honest these people don't make money unless you get tips you don't make money as a bartender tips is what pay you all right that paycheck is nothing nothing compared to what you're making and i was like that's fine i was selling my food my food money alone was you know i had snacks the only thing i, I want at one point guys i had an igloo in there with juice and water but it was too much work to be transporting all that stuff so i actually stopped doing all of that i would bring water if girls need water and stuff like that but that was too much but when i tell you i'm the house mom makeup artist everything they tried me so many times i have other persons come in there you know doing makeup they double up on house mom duties put me around the back and stuff like that they tried me and that was not my problem my main focus was making my money and i was doing that and i did not stop even though they wanted me to stop they didn't want to fire me or tell me not to come they wanted me to quit but i'm not a quitter okay and i stayed there's times when okay then things start get good i don't care about the little paycheck because i'm making money and um you know i guess they realize they tell me that i have to pay them to sell my food i am the house mom these girls are drunk they want something to eat and i'm making something healthy and clean for them to eat at the end of the night why would you do that wasn't a problem again so i paid them whatever they wanted all right and um you know they at one point tell me that i cannot sell the food and i used to still bring the food because girls wanted the food but i used to leave it in my car so if they want it i tell them i'm not bringing it in the club they can you know get it afterwards or if they're hungry or whatever and stuff like that because they were really trying me really trying me and um you know i did just that but i did not stop cooking because these girls want good food to eat they need healthy and good food and clean food this is all made you know and and you know i did not stop like i said i was making money especially on weekends or when there's a party i cannot sit down may i come home for the week um you know i was making money good money good money i'm not gonna say but i was making money also too there's nights when i don't make no money like i said if the girls don't make money i don't make money and that's the where i went wrong these girls were supposed to pay me up front i was so lenient with them like okay then you know what that till one girl try me mr if me ever see she good full face um face beat she get and me not get not one dollar oh I'll come back tomorrow. I'm coming back because I'm going to get this check and I'm going to make me some money and I'm going to tip you. And I was like, okay, girl, I see you did not make no money, but make sure you have my money tomorrow. She did not come back. I don't know if she works there, but I did not get no money from her. More than one time they tried me, but guess what? I'm standing. I'm still strong. Okay. Because I made it bad for them to pay me at the end of the night when I was supposed to do my job. As you know what, I was supposed to stop staying the whole night until two when they cut me off um, payroll and come home when we finish the work. But no, because me brought them bad. So most of them pay me at the end of the night. And like I said, I really like it. Sometimes I was tired and, you know, my back hurts with the makeup and the kind of bending. I had my lighting, my good makeup chair, my whole thing set up, well set up. When it's party time, I have my little Kalinda thingy and tell you how much for a face beat for persons who are new to the club and stuff like that. But the manager tried me and then I realized that, you know, I was there on my phone talking and he probably used to hear. And I was there like, you know what? I was, I'm not a quitter. Like I tell you, I'm not a quitter. So I still pull through even though I know they were trying me because I know what I was doing. 
you know i knew what i was doing and i was making money from not making no money coming over here to start making money and i was in control of myself if i don't want to go to work i don't need to call them i don't have to do that i just don't show up because i was working for myself at this point i'm off payroll so yeah and um i love the girls though i love most of them you know i really do appreciate them everybody who has tipped me and um stuff like that but they tried me makeup artists come them double up on houseman put other houseman push me around at the back i did not stop until everybody leave and i'm still there because i'm there this is it you know and a lot of persons these americans i think they're easier to quit we jamaicans we value money or caribbean people let me say that and i I am a hustler and I always say that I know how to make money guys and I don't care I will make money however I can make money that's me that's Chrissy all right things have changed we grow past certain things so I'm so thankful but I know how to make money I'm not gonna tell you um, that oh man I'm working on an oil sale I'm not gonna do this as long as I'm not selling my body as long as I'm making a harness you know my honest money and my honest bread butter whatever we want to call it i'm gonna do it and that's me so when i say i'm a hustler i'm not talking about like i hustle i'm talking about i do whatever it is which is you know i can make me some money for myself and my family because i like to have my own stuff and they tried me a lot of times but i did not stop and then you know I just, I was there telling, I call it quits one night and someone said, no, you can't leave because I was at this point fed up. There's times when I come home and I was like, babe, I don't make no money, like no money. And then when I come home, Kushin had to go to work 4 a.m. So, and then the kids, sometimes I have to stay up. I can't go sleep because people must sleep dead. So I had to wait until the kids are off to school then I can get some rest. And then, boom, I have to start going to work. And then at one point, I stopped going. I, I just used to go on the, you know, Fridays and Saturdays. Um, but, yeah, they tried me a lot. But I'm still thankful, and I'm always going to say that. You know what? It helped a lot, you know. Um, yeah. Meet people, Tiny, Nikki. There's so many people, Dangerous. Um, there's so many people, Dior. There's so much. I don't want to call no names so I can miss nobody. But there's times when I have to literally nurse these girls because they're wasted. And, um, you know, I just, I appreciate it. So I was not a stripper. I was a house mom, guys. All right. And then I finally call it quits because we started doing YouTube and my wigs and makeup, now this time I have the Walla Orlando lock, you know, the bodice makeup artist. So I started doing makeup, all right? I still had the girls, you know, makeup doing and stuff like that. So they used to come at my house. And people, I used to go in the club like a crackhead. At one point, I did a client's makeup, a stripper makeup. And she was like, oh my God, house mom, you lit. I was like, why would you say that? She was like, girl, your place look good. Because when I go to work, I'm in, I'm, I always, I had bought a comfortable shoes. You know, I used to wear pants and just t-shirt, my ear tie up. I wasn't in there for nobody. And then one time I go in and, and you know, I look like somebody and somebody wife, somebody mother. And, you know, me in a summer, one girl was like, wow, you buy those stuff? I'm like, you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to how I used to look because these people are telling me that I'm buying stuff in which, you know, when you look good and whatever. But I enjoy my stay in the strip club. I learned that in a strip club, you have to have a house mom and the, the line of work that they do and stuff like that. So I appreciate it, you know. Just big up all strippers, you know, once you're making your honest bread, just big up on yourself. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave a comment down below. And I know some of you guys learned that in a strip club, you have to have a house mom. That was my job. So big up on yourself. Until next time, always remember that God is love. Bye.